want to share God's word today. Um, what a privilege every time we come and stand before God's people to share his word. Not because we, we know it all, but just because at this season, God has allowed us to be part of what he's saying and the great word that he's giving to his people. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. He is my personal savior. Um, today I want to speak about drifting. Drifting. And the question I'm asking myself, am I drifting or are you drifting? Are you or drifting or am I drifting? A story is told of a man who saw two young men they were fishing above a dam on a river which was near their hometown. And they got caught up with the fishing idea. Everything they were is fish, 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 fish. And because they concentrated on the fish so much, they did not know they were drifting towards the dam. When they got close to the dam and they realized where they were going, it was the current, the other current pulled them and in a little while they disappeared. And that town came to look for them and they did it for a couple of days before their bodies were finally discovered. It took about three days. There is a danger of drifting. And drifting is not only limited to physical uh, realm. It's also in our, in our spiritual realm also. Hebrews chapter number 2 verse number 1. We have a, a warning there. We find a warning against drifting. And I pray that we can read all of us together to Jipe Moya. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed which we have heard, lest at any time we should we let them sleep or let them drip. Sadly, it is, it is not uncommon for Christians to drift, drifting towards destruction like the ship we saw a little while. Like I said, the question that I'm, I'm asking myself, am I drifting, are you drifting? Because sometimes drifting does not come with a bang. No. It is one thing after another, and then finally you find yourself, you have drifted away from home, you have drifted away from the things that you, you knew. When people get married, and yesterday I had a privilege to attend a wedding, There is a lot of love in the air. And as I spoke to, the, to that couple, because I was wedding them, I told them this. I have discovered love. You can see it in the air. Where there is love, you can see it. You can feel it. And I gave them example of dogs and cats. Some of you praise God, who hate dogs and cats, even when they see you, they know you hate them. <laughs> they look at you, they see hate, they disappear. But some of you that love cats and dogs, they see you, they jump over you, they want to sleep next to you, they want to warm themselves with you, because they see it. I also told them, lust is also sin. And lust is not love. Lust, most of the time, is selfish. It is the one who is lasting that wants to gratify themselves. People who are in love, after sometimes that love, you can also drift from it. 
from a wedding of five star, if there is anything like that. You know, one day I was told there was a wedding in, uh, in, in uh, Safari Park between some two Asian guys, and the cost of the reception was 15 million. And Brother Peterson, when he had it, he's the mother to one, went to see it. Okay, scare reception, you have 15 million. Uta enda. And we have seen people that have gotten into marriage with that kind of glamour and so on. And after some times, that love of theirs start drifting away. So it, it is possible for people that used to say, I do, I do, do, to say, I do, and finally say, I don't. It's possible. People drift away. So there is a danger of drifting away. Christians drift away. And I want to say this up front. That if there is something that is in danger, is your faith. What you have confessed in the Lord is under attack. And it is not under attack by somebody who says, I want to fight it. No, it is somebody who, who says, I like it. It's actually an agreement. Some of you have never witnessed to a nation from India. And you tell him about Jesus. He says, good, I will add him. Do you have a, do you have a picture for him? Because to them, all, all gods for this and gods for that and God for everything. There is God for everything. So your Christianity is under attack by people who will be very harmless, if you like. I was thinking about how the United States, a country that was established on Christian principles, and most of the universities there were started by religious groups or churches, have drifted. They started simply by saying, human rights. Let's have some human rights. If you don't believe in God, that's okay. Therefore, we allow you to be with us. They moved us step further and said, now because of human rights, let's not talk about Jesus in our, uh, in our education. Or let's not mention him. Anybody who is mentioning can be sued because inter he's interfering with the human rights of the other person. And they moved on a little bit and then finally they said, you cannot talk about Jesus in a class. So they kicked the savior outside the class. Meanwhile, as they did that, human rights got in. And the religions of the world have room in a Christian nation today. They have mosques all over. They have Hindu uh, temples all over. Because we are respecting them. To our country, what is happening at the moment... And I, I, please forgive me if, I, if you hear it is like we talked with you not long ago. The, our culture has entered into the church. Everywhere. Not the Kikuyus alone. And it has come by saying that God you worship is the same God we worshipped in Kirinyaga. He's the same God, not different. But I want you to take you back to the Old Testament and tell you no. It is not the same as the God they worshipped. There is a true God and the God that people worshipped. But how does it come? It comes in an easy way. Our traditions are not fighting with God. They are good. They are in agreement with your God. But one of my pastor told me one time, in his place, after they finished preaching, they were told, Wakai Kando. Another guy dressed up very well like a Kikuyu minister and actually rebuked them. We can drift very, very easily from the truth. And the Bible, the Word of God, talks so much about it so that it, it is like warning us. And the question again I'm saying, are you drifting? There are things that we should know about drifting so that we can we can all move together. 
Drifting requires no effort. For you guys that went to school when I was in school, in high school then, in Fika where I was a student, boys school, because I was in a boys school, would have dance every closing of the year. And there were girls' schools not very far. And they had what they call dancing clubs. So, there would be a dance in the hall when closing. And it was so amazing as you see some of the Christian brothers go to watch. It doesn't start by going in. No, it goes to watch. And then as they watch, they are told, why watch? Come inside. And then they would wonder, because outside is cold, I'll go in. And they will sit. So, I'm not dancing. I'm okay. Then the heat of the song will continue. You don't, it doesn't come quickly. You start by enjoying the music. Nobody is talking to you. Me, I don't dance, I'm a Christian. And then one of your classmates comes with a girl from that other school. Actually, I form one like you as well, I form two. And introduces you to oh, you. Oh, you knew oh, you Christian group. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a Christian. I'm 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 so you, what you do, you start, you dance a little. It is not harmful. Actually, you can even ask yourself, am I still born again? And the answer would be, sure. So we saw young men drifting away because it does not come with a bang. You will not start stealing. You will start picking. And every time you pick, you would say, if the owner comes, I would say I'm the one who picked it. Then you spend it. And he doesn't ask. Next time you pick and you use immediately because you know ata akijua. Hawezi jua huyu ata ile ingine akujua. And then you become a thief. You never started stealing. You started making sure you place something in a good place. Ata sisi watoto. My eye Hatu kuanza kuiba. Hakini finally tulikuwa wajanja. Umewachwa? Umeagiriwa githeri hapo? Umewachwa? Uangalie githeri ki? Umewachwa? Mayai uko ndani pia. <laughs> Na unaweka tukuni tu. Tukuni tu. Eh? Tukuni tu kama mayai kako dakika tano kana hiva, unakatoa ukifanya fanya hivi unakaweka kwa mfuko, alafu una pretend kuna kitu. Nani alikula hii mayai ilikuwa hapa? Sio mimi. Ukianza hivyo utaiba kuku. What am I saying? Drifting requires no effort. Just stop your rowing if you're in a boat against the wind and a boater will begin to drift. If he's not controlling, he will start drifting. And that's why it is important for you to keep on pushing, to keep on pushing. We are in this life. And if you don't want to drift, be busy. Be busy. Be busy. Make sure you know where your canoe is going. Be busy. The canoe of life. Where am I going? Be busy. Because it is also true for a Christian. That's why we are told we must give the more earnest heed. Hebrews 2 verse 1. So first of all, drifting requires no effort. Two, or B, it is unconscious process. It is possible to drift unaware. In a boat, and a current come, and often the boat is taken from one place to another. In a plane. Hey, bud. Kwanza kuna ndege ingine. Hakaenda giju ya mawingu. Muna kasikia kana pika trrrr, kana kipiti hapa. Hako kandege, rubani wake, 
lazima akubaliane na wind impush apake kwa hivyo utaona ni kama inaenda kwa nyasi sikamenibeba siku moja hey. sasa unashindwa huyu jamaa runway iko pale nika watu tano na watu wangu wote walikuwa wamefunga macho wale tulikuwa nao mimi tu ndio naongea kama kama radio imefunguliwa macho kwa sababu ya uoga tulikuwa na nangoa na pilot tulikuwa pale mbele na yeye ninashindwa huyu anataka kuangua kwa manyasi kwa nini kumbe anapigwa na upepo anapigwa na upepo ana land even planes drift and they can do it because of that gravitational force which moves it and the same is true about our christian walk many individual christians have slowly drifted away many churches have gradually drifted into error many churches people have gotten into something else not what was original in them And you know they go so far that one day when they discover it's hard to go back. Ushaanza biashara ya maji na vitu zingine. Inakuwa ngumu kurudi. Utauza vitamba, utauza vifagio, utauza kwa sababu ushaanza biashara kwa kanisa. So it is an unconscious process. Number C. Whenever we never drift upstream or we don't drift against the tide we don't again is the tide not drifting but it is for where the tide is going where the stream is flowing so faithfulness to the lord is like our owing that boat or making sure it is strong and then the point is we go upstream we don't go downstream we go upstream and every time you feel it is easy then you are not upstream you are downstream and in a time the stream can sweep you you can drift christianity is not easy any time you feel easy about it know there is something that is not right I normally say if you're a Christian and you are never tempted. You have already been tempted so much that whatever happens to you is not temptation. But Christianity is an upstream thing. If you want to love your wife, it's an upstream. Actually, it is an upstream. You have to decide. Nikuwa ukiona Collins na Ruth bado wanapenda na miaka hiyo yote. Sio kwamba kwao wanaita natu muongia sio hiyo hapana wameamua dan si ni kuamua na huyu kuamua alafu watoto wangu wanaweza sema we have never had our father quarrel with our mother steve ask them the only thing they don't do it is when you are there at watching so that you can decide which, who is who is winning the battle but you have decided nimeamua he boat inapanda haiendi huku haitazama inapanda i like weddings because you look at a girl she she's so faithful to the parents she thinks the man is her father or her brother and i normally tell them that man will tell you things that you have never heard yo ask them they will tell you mambo ujasikia baba yako akisema bwana yako anakuambia mambo ujasikia ndugu yako akikuambia bwana yako anakuambia mambo so for any couple whether they are salt they are upstream for any mother with the children na hujawatupia mikono upstream umekataa unasema hawa tunaenda nao binguni hawa si waachi yeah tutafika binguni ni watu bukize huko wakiingia huko alafu niseme haleluya 
That's why the, some mothers are here with their children. Kuna wengine walisha tupa watoto wao. Ozi na tukana choka huko. Oh now. Otuketia huko. You know, there are some mothers have said kikiumana tutaumana pamoja na huyu mtoto wangu lazima atamuona bwana. That's why when you see our children there don't think we don't know. I know some of you say sitamwambia sitamwambia. We know but what we have decided is mwananda tea gonada gora godunyu. I'm sorry for those that missed that one. What what I said Chitala ni kwamba mtoto anunuliwi bungoma kwa soko. Eh, muko. Tuko pamoja bado. We are talking about drifting and we are saying we are not we go upstream. Ninaenda ni nengo die. Taenda. Tapanda. There is no hill nor mountain that we cannot climb. When I say we, I mean Jesus and I. There is nothing that can stop me. You must continue to grow. The moment you stop growing, you start going back and you start going downstream. But growing Christian muscles is to decide something. I am decided, Lord, the cross before me. And the world is behind me, no turning back. Another thing about drifting, the speed downstream increases. When you are drifting, the speed downstream increases. The rafters that go to Sagana, they don't do it in the cool place up in the Chania River, Ukoju, Uko, Karatina, Uko Padeo. They come to Sagana where the waters are fast. But for them to make it through, they have to, if you have seen them, they cover themselves. Man enough. We saw something like that to show man enough. I would rather do anything else, Kanyoni. Because it is still man enough. Like in you could drift. Hey! Lazima umamue. Na lazima wanaume wawa najua kuogerea pia. <laughs> oh my goodness. The, the stream goes faster. Anyone who has backslided, and God forbid that you're going to do so, very fast within a short while, they are finished. They started drinking one bottle, now they cannot finish a whole crate, and so on. It goes very, very fast. You start smoking and you cough. Let me tell you smokers if you're in the house, nobody who has ever smoked, because I have I've done it, without coughing. First you, boom, 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 and somebody looks at you and smiles and says, wow, sasa umeanza kuwa mwanaume. Do it again. Do it again. Na ana pretend, unaona anaivruta vizuri, anaifinya inaingenda, alafu anaitua, unaona ni kama dunia yote ame possess. <laughs> but after a while, and you know I normally tell people that I used to smoke until unakunywa pakiti ni kama peremende. Na badu, niko primary, usiambia mtu. When we can hear the water of the waterfall, it is already too late. You're going to Sagana and you hear the waterfall, no wonder that is the place where hata ukipiga kelele hatutasikia. Kwa sababu umeenda mbali sana na sauti yako imenyongwa na waterfall. When we lose sight of the land, it is less possible for us to discover it again. We are just about to the dis close to destruction. As we move farther and farther from the Lord, we care less and less about what we do. Meet a Christian who has been a Christian and then backslidden. One time, and may the soul of late Reverend Mwede rest in peace. I went with him 
to a lady that was a tycoon and we wanted some piece of land. I was told, and at one time in her story, and she has also gone to heaven, I don't want to mention where she has gone because you can get saved the last minute. But when we went to, to, to see this lady, you all know Reverend Mwethi was a, he, he, he won souls. Yani, akiogea kitu kidogo, ni kuokoka. Hakuna jiaigine, ni kuokoka tu. So tumeenda pale dakika mbili, mama ameguzwa, ameamuka. Bishop, teramu udo udari muonoku. You know, and then I tell Reverend, uyu mama kwa mjirika wetu. But you could not contain Mwethi in a little while again. <laughs> so she kept on saying, Do mwere, mingo thie, nitaenda, nitawacha. But you cannot control. So this, if you have drifted away, it becomes so difficult for you even to hear and reconcile with God because you think you know it. Number F O E. It is dangerous to others. When you start drifting, you become danger to everybody else. Even your children, your wife, your spouse, your worker, wherever you work, you become dangerous. When a ship is drifting, it becomes dangerous even to other users of the ocean or the sea or the river. A ship, when it is drifting, becomes hazardous. Hazardous. Thank you. To all other vessels. And parents who are just drifting will lose golden opportunities to teach their children, Ephesians 6, 4. And many are tossed to and fro and carried about by every wind of doctrine, Ephesians 4, 14. Finally, it ends in shipwreck. If you continue like that, you'll have a shipwreck. A boat adrift will crash on the rocks or go over the hill, the falls. For those who drift spiritually through their own neglect, they shall, they shall not escape from the just punishment. The danger of drifting, brother, sister, is real. Oh, there will be no need for the Bible to warn us. So again I ask, Jimmy, are you drifting? And if you're listening to me, are you drifting? Some common signs of drifting and this is because I'm talking to Christians it is start simply by diminishing there will be things diminishing and increasing there will be three diminishing and one increasing number one diminishing desire to study God's word and pray Bible study on Wednesday, prayer meeting on Monday. But wa kuoja kuomba hakuna atujai hata hapa. Hata watu hatuwezi hey. Watu wa maombi, sisi ni wachache. Watu wa Bible study tunajaja kidogo lakini sio wengi pia hatujai. Where are you normally on Monday evening? Why don't you have time to come and uh, pray with others? Where are you on Wednesday? If you are not careful, you will be drifting. Kidogo, 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 kidogo. And then one day you will say like one friend of mine who said when others are going to Kesha, mocking them, said, Hata mimi nitakuwa ni melala in the presence of God. When you drift, you go easy, pole, 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 pole. And you diminish the desire of God's word. Without God's revelation, let me say, you, we could truly really not know our origin, our purpose, and our destiny. So we need his revelation, and we can only find it in prayer and reading his word. When this diminishes to us, it tells us that sin dreadful consequences and how God saves us from sin has diminished. You don't see the pain. This afternoon there are men coming and I tell you they'll tell us stories. You think they have gotten saved there. But what has happened is that they have gotten a, a weekend 
of prayer, no interruption. Kuomba tu. The cross becomes so vivid. Their sin becomes so real. They start crying before God. When is the last time you cried? When is the last time you knelt? Drifting comes easy. But what happens? You diminish reading God's word. You diminish prayer. And your prayer becomes an easy one. Blessed. Blessed. Amen. For this night, watch over us. Amen. Yani umemuandika kuwa security of peace hapo inje. Akuzimamia ulale. We kazi yako ni kulala na kungorota. Prayer is a wonderful blessing. It's an avenue to communicate with God. Jesus, who loved his father, prayed often. He expressed concern that his disciples should not grow weary to pray. They should pray. When the Christian pray less and less, that Christian is drifting. And I tell you what, when the church has prayed, things happen. I will say again, reggae and this thing. What do you call this other thing? Tanga tanga. Izo. Ao, ao, anaitua nani ao? Ao, ao. Ao, apana, ao, ao, jama. Mahasala. It is when we pray. When we pray. And we should actually pray for the hustlers, for the reggae people. We should pray. Let me tell you. If this country is saved, you'll be saved. If it is not, you will not. You know, I used to, to, to hear very interesting people praying for, for us. And one day I said in this church, Muna tuombea si tumepigwa molo, mume tuombea. Wengine hawa tuombei, ni kutuenjoy tu, mutaka, mutalala, kama bahasha, wali tuambia. Maoto ulipo waka hapa, Nairobi, huku wakia wakikuwe peke yake, ili wakia kila mtu. What I'm saying, friends, don't drift in prayer. Let's keep on praying, holding this nation to God. When you see the judges and the executive fighting, that's not a place to, to enjoy. Unaona, hapo wamegongwa below the belt. We, sheria ikikosekana hapa, itakuwa affect wewe. Executive ikikosekana hapa, itakuwa affect wewe. I told the people in Kitengela, Sirikali, Sijaona Sirikali, Mepereko Kenyata, in the Gojeka COVID. Watch a Kuvaba la Koa Kwasabia Polisi, Va Kwasabia Komonere. Hebuwa to Amungua Fanyanini, to Ombe. Let's pray. Let's pray. Don't wait until. So I told the people here, Goja took it dog Mutalia. Do you know it was like a prophecy I was telling them? 207. See to Lilia. Kulikuwa kumewaka moto. Actually, kuna ndugu moja, ye ni mjaluo. Lakini ajua kikuyu kama, kama dada. Dada kujua kitu ni mzuri. <laughs> Akua pale nakuru, <laughs> akasikia wanakuja watu. Na walikuwa wakikuja wakifagia. Hawa ni, wa, ni wakikuyu, walikuwa kenda kifagia kijiji kimoja. Na huyo ndugu walikuwa kishi pamoja na hawa. Lakini wale walikuwa kuja kufagia hawakuwa wanajua watu. Kwa hivyo walikuwa kijua kama hangei luga. Sasa huyu kijana alipo sikia wameanza kukuja hakaanza kusifushia kiko osho. Oka mwafami ye otonya vaine. Doka rogome moromo ine. Watonya neo. Walipo sikia huko wakapita. Huyu ndugu. Akitoa hiyo ushuhuda sikuizi na muangalia na shindwa kweli alisaidika. Oh, sitaki mujifundishe luga, nataka tu, tuombe. My part is, let's pray. So that we don't get to a place where you are afraid because of where you come from, but you are happy that you are a Kenyan, let's pray. Wow, hii, hii ujumbe ni kama yako Dan. Haitaisha. Hata Dan haku maliza kwa hivyo alifanya vile watu ufanya. Unajua kama huku maliza utampa na fasisi kunyingine? Diminishing, the second thing is diminishing desire to be with God's people. Anytime, young people listen to me, anytime you are told the world no more romance than the Christian brothers and sisters, you are in for it. Utashikwa. Hiyo romance wanakwambia na hizo vitu ni dhambi. Na utaingia kwenye dhambi. Atiwa Christo, they are very boring. 
Kwa sababu tukikutana tusome neno. Tukikutana tutiane moyo. Na wale wakikutana Alafu unasema ah sasa me I don't like her. You know there are some of my members when I meet them they are embarrassed to tell me where they went but I know what happened. Walianza kukosa ibada wakaenda hivi mara wakasema hata huyu ataokoka. Huyu bishop huyu vile namuona ni mtu mzuri sana hataokoka tu. Eh, Nitaomba sana. Before long poor girl ana akiniona ana hepa kwa sababu ameanza kutarajia kupata mtoto. Na namwambia by the way if you fall into sin don't run away. Show up let's pray for you and help you. Because if you know what caused you to get into that problem then from there you are a better you can help others. Don't run away. And Christianity is not boring. It's only that you don't read the Bible more to get the excitement of revelation. You don't pray more to get more dreams and revelation from the word of God. Diminishing desire to be with God's people. One should always have an attitude of the psalmist. Psalm 122 verse 1, can you put it? This attitude that the psalmist had. Psalm 122 verse number 1. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. May that be your portion. Fellowship with God's people. It extends beyond the services of the church. Visit one another. Pray for one another. Young people. And protect one another. Usi enjoy dugu amadada. Na unajua yule. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I, I, I know, I know. You are afraid, dugu asiseme, unataka kureplace uyo dada. But if she is not right, say it. Sama. Na umuambie, by the way, na mimi uwezi nioa. Class yangu yuko juu kidogo ya yako. Kine chunga maisha yako. Alafu musome Bible muimbe nyimbo. Bible study Friday, uh, Mwene Nyumbani. That's a good one. Tell each other the truth. Afadhali mtu ajue ukweli. One pastor cancelled a couple that was getting married. And when he, he was cancelling them, he told the girl, Uyu atakuchapa mchana. Walikuwa hapotu wanawa cancel tu. As he cancelled, he, he realized this guy ni mungadia sana. Ni mustabon. Kambia musichana. Yake kutai diye. Ora, ora, ora. Run away now. Then they were there. He was cancelling them. Utachapwa. Eh, and the, the lady. Nego. Is that true? And the guy says, me? Never. <laughs> you rage keaga. One week after the wedding, the guy did not go to church anymore. Why? He got what he was looking for. Sasa nikisema alipigwa si understatement. But let's tell them the truth. Diminishing desire to share the gospel. If, some, if, you, if you love to share the gospel, it will help you to stay saved, even in your place of work. Therefore, this is what I would give you free. Learn to share the gospel wherever you find yourself. It will keep you saved. But the minute you diminish the desire to share the gospel, you are in for it. Finally, Increasing the real of the things of the world. You know, even worldly honors and so on. You, you get so excited and so thrilled. I have had of parents, mtoto wawa mepewa honor. Ya dunia. Honor ya dunia. Kwa sababu aliimba, aliimba kawimbo, Tano tena, kitu kama iyo. Wasazi wakaenda kupewa iyo nini? Iyo ona. Na wanasema, unajua mtoto wetu? Hehe, <laughs> dia rishida kenya yote. Ile wimbo aliimba, aliimba wimbo mzuri sana. Lakini ni ya dunia, lakini aliimba wimbo mzuri. Hata president, alikuwa akichaka mali, alikuwa meketi, anachaka chaka. He, aliimba. And we have seen parents that have encouraged their children to continue in the world. And before long, even themselves, they have found themselves in the world. 
draw lines, help your children. Wow. Remedies, if you want to stay afloat, if you don't want to drift, keep rowing. The life that we live in, keep rowing. Spiritually speaking, it involves to be diligent. It also means to keep abounding in our Christian graces. There is no place for retirement in living the life of Christ. Even you that have retired, keep rowing. Keep rowing. Keep talking about Jesus. Keep reading the word of God. Keep praying. Watch out for undercurrents. We must always be on guard for undercurrent of temptation. Things that are hiding themselves. Be conscious. Look at it. I was conned once. And I said I will never be conned again. Do you know why? Because I knew where they came through. They came through my appetite. My lust. At the oh, dugu, umeshinda elfu mia moja. He ni safari kom inakupigia. Uko tayari ni kuambia vile utapata hizi pesa. Watch out. Hiyo tamaa ati ujaona elfu mia moja na jana ulilala bila kitu lakini kuna mtu amekutumia 20 thao kwa kwa simu yako enda utoe hizo 20 kwanza. Iwe hakuna kitu. Uh. Ati sasa nimejaribu kukutumia imeshindikana. Kwani pindi namba yako ni gani? Najaribu nakataa. Si unipe nikusaidie. Si mimi niko safari kwa mta kusaidia tu. <laughs> Kuna watu wamepeana. Eh? Alafu anaanza kulia hapo 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 hapo. Kwa sababu akienda kwanza kwa ATM anakuwa ni blocked na pesa. Na huku ana nyingi ulikuwa na 1400 na 500 na ilikuwa tatu ni ya kulipa nyumba. <laughs> si utaambia watu wote vile kumetendeka. Dunia mzima itajua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watch out the undercurrent. Expect to go against the tide. There are many tides to sweep away ourselves. Popularity is one of them. Go past it. Peer pressure is another. When people praise you, you forget it. Modernism, skepticism, humanism, denominationalism, or false doctrine that your church is the best or your religion is the best. Liberalism and worldliness in the church. Probably the greatest enemies of the church in our time is becoming liberal. Sisi, hatuguzagi watu. We kuja tu. Ati yako inaitwa nini? Oh, we are all going to heaven. You know, churches go to heaven. Jesus is the one who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Not church. So let's watch out that. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Neglect. You become indifferent. You have apathy. You lack the interest and concern of the things of God. If one reads along those things, and because of majority, you will lose your personal life forever. Do you know why you should watch out drifting? It's because you drift in a mob, but when you die, you die alone. A mob causes you to drift, but when you get into problems and you have no family, it is you alone. So I pray that God is going to help us. Be so the question is, are you drifting? The danger of is real. We should know that. We will be foolish to think otherwise. Many have drifted away from the Lord. And you should not think you, you can't. If you don't read God's words, if you don't pray, if you don't witness, you become a witness for Jesus, you might drift without knowing. Are there signs of drifting in your life? Honestly, honestly, ask yourself, and these are the questions that you can ask yourself. Is my desire to study God's word and pray diminishing? Or is it, am I finding it? Is my desire to be with God's people not what it has been in the past? Is that what is happening? Have I lost my desire to, to talk about salvation and my salvation to others? 
Am I so much interested with the world and the things of this world? If any of those things are pursuing you, let me finish by telling you this. When you die, or when Jimmy Kemani will die, this is what they will say about me. This man who has died today has left a Mercedes, a white Mercedes, a VW blue, a shamba in karate, and he was hoping to buy one in Ruiro. Is that what they are going to say? Actually, when Kirubi died, we waited to hear what they would say. They said the same story they said about Kenyatta. This man has left. They never mentioned their wife, but they mentioned two children. Finished. All oh, this property. Unatoka kilifi. Kidogo tunaingia vipingo. Iyo makongi ote maili nyingi. Ati ukingia pano. Unaeno rara ya kerove. Sema, oh my God. And he carried no, no mukonge. Hata kamoja kuenda na ya uko. I refuse to drift. Would you join me? I refuse to drift. I will go up front. Tapigana na current. I'll pray for my family. Fight for them. Pray for my faith. Fight for it. I will resist every temptation to drift myself. I will refuse the love of this world and its goodies. I will refuse fame. Na hiyo kupewa ma praise na kusifi walafu na kutaza moe wako. Ndugu. Kile unaendesha, endesha hapa kule binguni aziendesha agwe. Na ukiwacha. Now this is the other truth. Ukiwacha. Iyo masides ya white. Kesho itakuwa na mtu wanaendesha. Wow. Kwa hivyo ukiwacha. Bisho pacha kuturingia na gari ya white. <laughs> Utaiwacha. Na ukiwacha, the following day, itaendeshwa na mtu. Kwani ni gani tumeona zikiendeshwa? Ati huko na kinyumba cha fahari. Ukikiwacha, kuna watu watazidi kuishi wapi? Pale. Mnaniangalia kama muelewe vile nasema. Ndugu, ukienda, kazi yako itachukuliwa immediate. Actually they will say acting what they are saying is that we cannot leave a gap you know they normally say the shoes that has been left is a lie the shoes that has been left somebody is there already <laughs> refuse to drift buana pastor john's idea wakati wangu uliisha